Brittany Griner is a WNBA star who plays for the Phoenix Mercury and often leads her team for the win. She is one of the tallest players in the league, towering at 6 feet 8 inches. Brittany is pretty well known among basketball fans for being able to dunk. You may know that WNBA games are less attended than NBA matches because they aren't as spectacular and fans say they love seeing people dunk. And that's why they love basketball. The inability to dunk is the reason why women's basketball isn't as popular. But Bernie Griner doesn't care about average statistics. She loves basketball and she loves showing a wonderful game. That's why all her previous teams she was always the most loved player by fans. Today. We'll tell you some great facts about Britney that you might have missed from her career and life. In high school, Griner played basketball with boys and she wanted to show the same spectacular game. But women's legs are usually not as strong as men's, so women's basketball players can only dunk when they're extremely tall. And still, jumping high for a very tall girl isn't that safe. She could easily get a knee injury. But Griner didn't care much about what her trainer was saying about the risks. And then she started additionally attending football training to strengthen her legs. In high school, she became extremely popular in the US for her dunks. The first video with her dunks in high school basketball games and in trainings got nearly 3 million views. And that helped her get her way to professional basketball. Shaquille O'Neal even gave her a visit after all the hype about a dunking girl. During her senior year, she dunked 52 times in 32 games and set a unique record that no one could beat. Kreiner played for Baylor University during her college years and she became the superstar of college basketball in the US. In addition to dunks, she started blocking opponents shots and led her team to victory. She's still one of the most efficient shot blockers in the history of women's basketball. Her best result in a college basketball game is 40 points a game with an average of 23 points a game in her sophomore year. She also made 10 rebounds and 5 blocks a game. In 2012, Brittany had good chances to play for the US women's Olympic basketball team. But at the last moment, she decided to withdraw her candidacy for having more time in the championship. That was a wise decision for her future career, because in 2013, Phoenix Mercury selected her as the first pick during WNBA draft. After that, she started showing a wonderful defensive power, averaging 3 blocks per game and improving this figure to a 4 blocks per next year. During her first game against Chicago Sky, Griner made 2 dunks, becoming the second woman in WNBA history to achieve that result. Candace Parker was the first to dunk in WNBA official matches. She has taken part in all WNBA All-Star games but the 2013 one. Her first All-Star game she missed due to a knee injury. In 2020, Griner had to miss half of the WNBA season due to personal issues. At the Summer Olympics in 2016, Brittany Griner became a gold medalist with the US women's basketball team. During her off-seasons, Brittany Griner plays overseas. That's a very popular way for American star players to earn money. Griner played in China and in Russia for UMMC Ekaterinburg, and those contracts have made her much more money than all her years in Phoenix Mercury. In 2013, Brittany Griner officially came out as a lesbian. She said in her interviews that she had been bullied all the way in her high school and college for being different, for being big, and having a different sexuality. But she tried hard and converted these differences to her advantage. Now she's one of the most popular basketball players among in the US women. She also said that her father didn't take her coming out positively, which made her suffer more. For now, she fights for the rights of the LGBT society and says that she's trying to make it at least a little easier for next generations. Griner was married to her fellow WNBA player, Glory Johnson, but they got divorced in 2016. Unfortunately, we know nothing about her private life now, and she keeps it a secret. Some basketball fans think that Brandy Griner is a man, but that's not true. She's always been a woman and she showed all her documents numerous times. Otherwise, she couldn't take part in the 2016 Olympics in a women's basketball team. Her base salary in Phoenix Mercury is now over $220,000 a year, which is not bad given the average WNBA salary well under $100,000 a year.
but she makes her money overseas signing contracts in Russia that reportedly bring her $600,000 to $800,000 a season, which is actually 3 to 4 months. Also, she signs endorsement contract with sport brands, one of the most popular brands being Nike, and we believe it brings her millions a year. The interesting thing is that she became the first official lesbian who signed a contract with Nike. This brings her official net worth to $3 million.